Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to our beloved lecturer, Dr. Ida Aniza binti Rosli. We are from AS 2015A1 and we are going to present about early stage diabetes risk prediction dataset. First, I will introduce our team members that have cooperated to finish this project who are Farhana binti Muhammad Lias, Hani Atira binti Haris Buah, Nur Shamimi binti Anwar, Nur Huda binti Rosli, Nur Naziha binti Shamsul Bahari, Nur Zuhaira binti Muhammad Afizan, and last but not least, Nurul Shafika binti Yahya. In this slide, there will be five parts which are A1, data searching, A2, data cleaning, A3, data transformation, A4, data reduction, and the last part is B, model development. Next is the introduction. Diabetes is a very common disease this day in all population and in all age groups. Diabetes contributes to heart disease, increases the risk of developing kidney disease, nerve damage, blood vessel damage, and blindness. So, mining the diabetes data in efficient manner is a critical issue. The early diagnosis of diabetes is only possible by proper assessment of both common and less common sign symptoms. There are many symptoms of diabetes that can be detected and might be diagnosed to predict early stage diabetes. Next is for the problem statement. There is a need of accessible and user-friendly tool for the end user to check and predict the risk of having diabetes using the data collected, which is the symptoms and conditions of individuals that are similar to the symptoms of diabetic patients. The objective of this experiment is to determine the best classification model that predicts the risk of having diabetes. Next, we will move on to the first part which is A1 data searching. For the data understanding part, the data set was taken and downloaded from UCL Machine Learning Repository. Data were taken from direct questionnaires from the patient of Silhid Diabetes Hospital in Silhid, Bangladesh and approved by a doctor. This data set are also used in research paper which is likelihood prediction of diabetes at early stage using data mining technique. This research paper are written by M.M. Fanikul Islam, Rahatara Ferdosi, Sadikur Rahman Humaira and Yasmin Bushra. The data set contain instances which is 520. For the attributes part, it contain 17. For the missing value, it contain 17. The types of data set is nominal and numeric. For numeric attributes, it contain 1 and nominal attributes, it contain 16. These are the list of attributes of dataset. We have age, gender, polyuria, polydysipia, sudden weight loss, weakness, polyphagia, genital crush, visual blurring, itching, irritability, delayed healing, partial paresis, muscle stiffness, alopecia, obesity and class. Next is about research articles that we referred in order to help us understand about this topic. For Article 1, it provides information of symptoms and causes of type 1 diabetes. It also provides 
information about medical ways to detect early stage of diabetes which is through ultrasound imaging. Next for the article 2, it provides information of symptoms and causes of type 2 diabetes. It also provides information about medical ways to detect early stage of diabetes which is by screening process. For the article 3, it provides information and better understanding on how to handle noisy data. For part A2, data understanding and preparation, which is data cleaning. In Weka, data cleaning can be accomplished by applying filters to the data in the pre-processed tab. In this part, we have the numeric attribute and also nominal attribute. So, for numeric attribute, each is the only attribute that is numeric in this data. For numeric attribute, they are mean value, minimum and maximum value, and standard deviation value. Uh, for this each attribute, the mean is 48.029, minimum value is 16, maximum value is 90, and standard deviation is 12.151. Next is regarding nominal attribute. Nominal attribute is slightly differ from numeric attribute. So in this data, there are 16 nominal attributes which are presented in this slide and the next slide. This table show the nominal attribute, number of values, and the count. There are 16 nominal attributes in this data set, uh, which are gender, polyuria, polydipsia, sudden weight loss, weakness, polyphagia, genital charge, visual blurring, itching, irritability, delayed healing, partial paresis, muscle stiffness, alopecia, obesity and class. For example, the attribute gender have number of values of two which are male and female. The count of male is 328 and for female, the count is 192. The second example, polyuria, the number of values is two which are no and yes. The count for no is 261 and for yes, the count is 258. Next is missing value. From this data set, there are 9 attributes with missing values. For example, polyuria, weakness and delay healing have missing value of 1 and the percentage is 0% uh, Next is uh, polydipsia and visual blurring have missing value of 3 and the percentage is 1% For sudden weight loss polyphagia, genital trash and irritability the missing value is 2 and the percentage is 0% So, for the step to replace missing value, firstly, click the open data set. Next, choose filter. Next, click unsupervised and then click attribute. After that, click the replace missing value and lastly, click apply on the right hand side. The missing value will be automatically replaced with another value. The all missing values are replaced by modes and means from the training data. The reason to remove missing value is to obtain a correct result of data and reduce bias. From this figure on the left, you can see there are missing values. And after remove missing value, 
the figure on the right it shows the missing value are uh, replaced with another value. Next, we proceed with noisy data. Noisy data is the random error or variance in a measured variable or also known as meaningless data. It is important to remove the noisy data because the result will smooth and have higher accuracy. There are several methods to handle noisy data such as binning, regression and clustering and others. For this data set, we deal the noisy data by removing the outliers and missing value. Firstly, we need to find whether there is noisy data or not by detecting the outlier. For outlier detection, to detect whether the dataset have outlier or not, the interquartile range filter is used. Firstly, go to the filter box, click choose, weka, and click filter. Choose unsupervised and click attribute. Next, interquartile range and then click apply. New attribute outlier will appear. Next, click the outlier button and the result will show at the right above. Referring to the label yes, the count is zero, which means there is no outlier in this data set. So for this slide, this is the result that shows the first 20 rows of the clean data set with all the columns. Data transformation involves normalization, discretization and attribute construction. Normalized data sets are important as it is to get rid of a number of anomalies that can make analysis of data more complicated. Normalization filter usually used for normalize the numeric attribute. Min-max normalization is a common way to normalize data where the filters set the mean value to 0 and max value to 1 and every value will transform to a decimal value between 0 and 1. This filter guarantees all the features to have exact same scale. Z-score normalization is a strategy of normalizing data that avoids this outlier issue. Z-score normalization handles outliers but does not produce normalized data with the exact same scale. Decimal normalization is the filter whereas it moves the decimal point of values of the attribute. For our data set, I choose min-max normalization because min-max normalization does not handle outlier which is in our data set the outliers is zero and the filters is good because it will show us the distribution of data and our data set does not consist of any outlier. To apply normalize on the data set, click choose on the pre-process tab and click filter, then click unsupervised. After that, click on attribute and find normalize. For the description of normalize, you can adjust the skill and translation. For our data set, I adjust the skill to 1.0 and the translation to 0.0. .0. It will give changes to minimum, maximum value, mean and standard deviation. The upper image is before normalization filter whereas we can see that the value on the right side is huge in number. For the below image is after applying normalization filter. The differences is after normalization the value for minimum, maximum, mean and standard deviation is between 0 and 1. Discretize is the process of putting values into buckets so that there are a limited number of possible states. Discretization technique can be used to divide the range of continuous attribute into intervals. 
For our data set, I'll be discretized attributes for each into three bins. To apply the discretized filter, you need to click filter in the pre-process tab on choose tab, then click unsupervised. After that, click on attribute, then choose discretize. You may set the description of discretize. For our data set, I set the attribute indices to first on one because attribute H are at the first label in the data set or first attribute in the data set and bins I change to three because I want to implement only three bins for the data set then you may press ok and then save and then apply the upper image is data set before applying the discretized filter as we can see the data set remains the same which is it consists of minimum maximum mean and standard deviation value for the below image is data set after discretize we can see that the label was divided to three bins or three groups the upper image shows the data set before naming and labeling whereas we did not know what the label refers with for the below image are the steps for naming and labeling data set manually using Excel. First of all, the data set save in CSV format and open the data set in Excel. Click on Find and select button on the right side of Home of Excel. Find the attribute that you want to rename and relabel. Select one class label. For example, I choose INF-0.333 and I copy the label and paste it on the find tab. After that, click on replace tab and replace the label with any name that you want. For our data set, I replace with below 33 years old. So all the label with INF-0.333 will automatically change to below 33 years old once you press on replace all on the tab. Lastly, you may save the file and open the data set in ARFF format in Weka. So this is the results after naming and labeling manually through Excel. I rename all the label for each attribute into below 33 years old, 33 to 66 years old and 67 years old and above. Attribute construction is adding a nominal and a numeric attribute to the data set identified by the file name given as first parameter. Attribute construction occurs when we adding an attribute which representing either sum or subtract of two other ones. For our data set, attribute construction does not apply on because our data set are studies on the risk production for early chronic kidney disease CKD with type 2 diabetes whereas it does not have any mathematical calculation indeed if you have any attribute construction you may apply filter then click on unsupervised after that click on attributes then click add expression you may select the description and change the name to any name that you want name the new attribute after that you need to change the expression with mathematical expression that involves subtraction or addition of two other attributes thus you are done click on save and apply it to your data set So this is the result for the first 20 rows of this data set that consists of normalization and discretization filter. Next, part B, model development and evaluations of full samples data. First, the data were opened in Weka in the tab pre-process Click Open File, then load the reduced data set. Next, click on Classify tab, then click Choose, Weka, Classifier, Trees, and Random Trees. Then, at Test Option part, click on Cross Validation Test and set the number of folds to 10. Run the test by clicking the Start button, and the result is shown as in slide. The accuracy is 97.12%.
Next, change the number of folds to 20 and then run the test again by clicking the start button. The result is also shown in slide with the accuracy of the test is 97.12%. After that, run the data for the percentage split with ratio 70 to 30, where 70 is the percentage of training data set. On the test option part, click percentage split and set the percentage to 70%. Click start and the result is shown as in slide. The accuracy is 89.74%. Next, for percentage split with ratio 90 to 10, where 90 is the percentage of training data set, change the percentage to 90% and click start button to run the data. The accuracy is 92.31%. Next, to visualize the tree, Right click on the result list panel then choose visualize tree. The tree is shown as in slide with the size of tree is 122. Next is data reduction process. It is to obtain a reduced representation of data set that is much smaller in volume. For data reduction, firstly, we need to choose the attributes that need to be removed by using Ranker method on the Select Attributes bar. Here, a feature of the normal attributes of data which have 19 attributes in total. Next, tick on the chosen attributes that need to be removed. There are 11 attributes selected including polyuria, polydipsia, sudden weight loss, polyphagia, genital trash, irritability, partial paresis, muscle stiffness, obesity, outlier, and extreme value. Then, click of the button removed. So, here's the result after the selected attributes were removed. There are only 8 attributes left. Next step, removes attributes on Microsoft Excel. So, this is the normal attributes data in Microsoft Excel. After that, select the attributes that need to be removed like the previous step, then choose Delete Cell. So, this is the result after removed the selected attributes on Microsoft Excel. Next, after reduction steps in A4 has been applied, the reduced data were opened in Weka. In the tab pre-process, click open file then load the reduced data set. Next, click on classify tab, then click choose. Weka, classifier, trees and random trees. Then, at test option part, click on cross validation test and set the number of folds to 10. Run test by clicking the Start button. The result is as shown in the slide. The accuracy is 89.6154%. Next, change the number of fold to 20, then run the test again. The result is as shown in the slide. The accuracy of the test is 90.1923%. After that, run the data using percentage split test. Percentage split 70 to 30, where 70 is the percentage of training data set. 
on the test option part, click percentage split and set the percentage to 70%. Click start and the result is as shown on the slide. The accuracy is 87.8205%. Next, percentage split 90 to 10, where 90 is the percentage of training data set. Change the percentage to 90% and click start. The accuracy is 88.4615%. And, to visualize the tree, right click on the result list panel then choose visualize tree. The tree is as shown in the slide. The size of the tree is 99. From the graph, it shows that there is a difference between the accuracy percentage of full dataset and reduced dataset. For cross-validation with 10 folds, the accuracy is 97.1154%, but it is reduced to 89.6154% for reduced data set. Next, for cross-validation with 20 folds, the accuracy for full data set is the same with 10 folds, which is 97.1154%, but it decreased to 90.1923% after the data set is reduced. For the percentage split with 70% value, the accuracy is 89.7436% but reduced to 87.8205% after the data is reduced. Lastly, for the percentage split with 90% value, the accuracy of full data set is 92.3077% while 88.4615% for the reduced data set. Hence, we know that the accuracy percentage in full dataset is higher than in reduced dataset.